This is Iron Man, the movie concept series, Battlemonger figure, right here. Now, the Battlemonger figure is the, obviously, is a repaint of the Ironmonger, uh, which is part, of, which was in the earlier wave. The Battlemonger is part of wave four of the Iron Man toy line, Iron Man movie toy line. Um, just a quick look at the packaging, right here. It says Iron Man concept series. So this is uh, a movie inspired uh, armor. It did not appear in the movie, obviously, but it is something that uh, was inspired by uh, events in the movie. And the bio says that this is an armor design, never revealed uh, prototype, designed by Obadiah Stane's engineer, so it stands freezing temperatures at extreme altitudes. Built from the same gold titanium alloy as the Iron Man Mark III armor, it can duplicate any of the feats of which Tony Stark's infamous armor is capable. Though its software package is not as advanced, it is much stronger and more well-armed, a serious threat to Iron Man and Stark Industries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, we all know it is just a repaint of the Ironmonger. Uh, let me get rid of the Hulk. Hulk angry! Uh, yeah, I'm a glow Hulk. Uh, I mean, just for the size of, of these figures, um, if, if you don't know, if you haven't gotten the monger, the iron monger, or any of its mold, um, the, these figures are way bigger than the regular 6 inch figures. I mean, they're about 8 inches, and you get this much plastic versus this much plastic for the same price. So. Um, uh, you know, these are really worth your, uh, you get value for your money for these figures. Get rid of him. Now, the Wave 1 Ironmonger looks like this. This is the chase figure, the one with the red dot. The normal Ironmonger has the blue dot. Um, it is exactly the same repaint, the same mold. It's just been repainted into the Mark III colors. I think it's a pretty decent repaint. The gold on this one is very nice. Just be careful when you're picking out your figure that there are no overlapping paint or you know some shoddy worksmanship right there just make sure you get a good one um, if, if if you live in Manila uh, the wave wave 4 is just hitting sh uh, retail uh, shelves as of this month of November 2009 this wave was actually released outside Manila it's, it's been released by Hasbro uh, in 2008 um, so, in uh, the shores of Manila, we're just getting it on retail. Um, in 2008, we got these figures on a very, very, very expensive price tag at hobby shops. Uh, but the retail stores are only getting them now. I have no idea why. But if you do spot it, I think it's a, it's a decent enough purchase. I wasn't too sure I was going to get this guy, but I'm glad I did. It is a wonderful, wonderful repaint. Um, it still has the same flaws as the old figure. It, it's it's like one of the most unposable figures because of its uh, punching arm gimmick, which doesn't really do anything. But uh, as a display figure, as a display piece, this is one incredible, incredible figure. Um, even if you have the the Ironmonger of Wave One, um, this figure is really a it's going to be a good shelf piece, especially if you are an Iron Man fan, uh, like like I am. Uh, just give you one 360. This figure, just very nice, very well done uh, paint job and redeco of this figure. Nothing's been remolded. It's it's exactly the same articulation and gimmick, just different paint job. Get rid of him. Very nice. I highly recommend this figure, especially if you're an Iron Man fan. If you're sick and tired of repaints, then you might just want to uh, pass up on these guys and just wait for the new Iron Man 2 figures. But uh, um, as, as I, uh, if I understand it correctly, Hasbro is now focusing on the 4-inch figures and the 10 or 12-inch figures for the new Iron Man line. So this is probably together with the Wave 5 figures. These are probably the last we'll ever see of the Iron Man figures in 6-inch or 8-inch format. So there you have it, the Iron Man movie uh, concept series, Battlemonger. I hope this video has been very helpful. 
for those of you who are still undecided about this figure. Thanks for watching.